If you are new to GRE prep, then this video might be helpful to you. In this video, I will give you a walkthrough of the materials with which you have to prepare for the GRE. Uh, this will be a zero cost or a very low cost mode of preparation that I will suggest to you. And the center stone of uh, this preparation strategy is going to be the official materials. So I would suggest that this website and uh, the ETS website and on the website, this particular page, prepare for the GRE general test is your best friend. So I will give you a walkthrough of this page and uh, uh, then will show you the different materials that are listed here and in what order you should go about them. So the free GRE general test prep materials that the ETS provides is the overviews of the different sections. Now these overviews are also there in the official guide. So uh, you could do it from the website or you could do it from the book. Then the Power Prep Online is a testing software uh, which has two full length tests which the ETS provides to you for free. This you will come to later in your prep. Then there is a practice book for the paper delivered GRE general test. So this test has some overlap with the computer based Power Prep Online test. So you should do the practice book test later after you have taken the power prep test so that the diagnostic part of the power prep test is not compromised because otherwise you will see some questions that you've already taken in the practice book if you take the power prep test after you have done the practice book okay so the math review section is also there in the official guide and i will show it to you just in a while no need to do it from here if you are going to work with your official guide and I strongly suggest that you should work with your official guide. So no need to download this PDF here. Then the instructional videos on the Khan Academy website is a great add-on. Uh, if you need to brush up on quant theory, I would strongly recommend this. This is a zero cost option. You could follow this link here that the ETS provides for a mapping of which videos to watch for which math concept. But I will also suggest another link which I think is a better one uh, in a short while in due course. Then the math conventions PDF is also there in the official guide. So if you have the official guide, you got this uh, part there in the book. And then the diagnostic services after you take the test, so not relevant to you right now. So that was for the free materials that are provided by the EPS. Now let's look at the official materials that are available for purchase. So the first here is Power Prep plus online. So these are three tests that you can take. These come at the end of your prep, so I'll uh, come to them later. Uh, then we have three books, the official guide to the GRE General Test third edition. Then we have the official guide to verbal reasoning and the official guide to quantitative reasoning. So these, I'll just show these three books to you. So this is how the GRE official guide looks like. My book here is the second edition, but there is no change at all between the second and the third edition. So any edition is fine, really. So this is the official GRE guide. So as I said here, look at this. You have the introduction to the analytical writing, the introduction to the verbal reasoning. So these are also the introductory uh, parts and the sample questions that were listed on the ETS website under the free practice material. So they are repeated here in the book as well. Then there is the introduction to the quantitative reasoning chapter five. Along with that, you have 
practice questions for verbal reasoning in chapter 4 and practice questions for quant reasoning in chapter 6 of the official guide. Then remember I said that the math review section is also repeated in the official guide. So here it is. It is chapter 7 of the book. And then there are two full length practice tests given in the official guide. So chapter eight is the first practice test and chapter nine is the second practice test. So if you remember, I said earlier that the ETS provides you two par prep tests, which are computer based tests for free. So those are two free full length computer-based tests and here in the OG you have two full-length paper-based tests for free free in the sense that you once you've purchased your official guide you got these two tests right so this is a quick overview of the official guide now let me show you the official quant guide here it is so in the uh, official guide for quantitative reasoning uh, you have first of all again there is the overview then after that you have chapter wise questions so you have the uh, there's a chapter on arithmetic on algebra on geometry on data analysis and then chapter seven of the book is three mixed practice uh, mixed practice sets, three of them here. Okay, so there are 150 uh, questions in the quant reasoning guide in total. Then there is the official verbal reasoning guide. So here again, it starts with the overview of the verbal reasoning measure, which is the same as the overview that you got in the ETS website as well as in the official guide. And then you have practice questions so chapter three gives you practice uh, questions for rc chapter four gives you practice questions on text completion chapter five of the official guide for verbal reasoning gives you practice questions on sentence equivalence and then once again there are three mixed practice sets which form the last chapter the chapter six of the official uh, verbal reasoning guide uh, i'm sorry there's another chapter chapter seven which gives you an overview of the awa section okay so this is about the books that you have to study these three books have to form the center stage of your gre prep you must go through these three books the official guide the official guide for quant reasoning and the official guide for verbal reasoning and you must take the two free full length part prep tests okay so these are the must do's for your gre prep anything else is optional go to a secondary prep material only on an as needed basis Okay, so what are the kind of needs for which you might need to go to secondary prep material? So one need could be that you are rusty in quant. Uh, it's been a long time since you have touched the math concepts. So you need to practice them more uh, and learn the theory uh, in more detail than is given in the math review section of the official guide. So let me walk you through uh, the math review section. So here the math review section, take it as the syllabus of the GRE quant. Okay, so nothing that is not mentioned in the math review section can come in the GRE quant. So this chapter seven of the official guide, the math review section defines the syllabus of the GRE quant. And you must go through all of these pages at least once. So what I recommend is that when you start your quant prep, let's say you start with the arithmetic section so go first of all to the integer section 1.1 integer section read it if there is any part of it which you do not understand any so this this is a concise review it is not a 
theory explanation lesson. So each paragraph is very dense with formulae or with theoretical concepts. So as I said, it's a very uh, good document for review, not as much for learning or for brushing up of concepts after a long time. So what you can do is if you feel that this is a bit too much coming on too soon for you. So then you can go to Khan Academy video for 1.1 integers and watch those videos, do the practice exercises that are given there and then read this paragraph once again to make sure that you've got everything. And this is how you can go from paragraph to paragraph, page to page of the math review using the Khan Academy videos as your supplementary teaching source or prep source. Okay. So uh, how can you use the Khan Academy videos? How do you see a mapping of uh, the math review sections with the Khan Academy videos. Khan Academy does not have a GRE section per se. It does not offer exclusive videos for the GRE, but as I showed you here on the ETS site, the ETS site has done a mapping of the math review topics with the Khan Academy videos. And there is another great resource on Vince Cochin's website. Vince Cochin is a GRE tutor. So he has done a mapping of the GRE arithmetic concepts with the Khan Academy video. So as you just saw on the math review page, 1.1 integers. So if you did not feel very confident reading that part of the math review, you could consult this blog. And from here, this blog will take you to the relevant lesson on the Khan Academy, which you must master, and so on for each and every section of the math review. Okay, so you could work directly with the resource list on the ETS, or uh, you could also use this uh, blog as your one on one mapping uh, guide for the math review sections with the relevant Khan Academy videos. Okay, um, so this was for quad. You could also feel the need for some guidance on verbal reasoning. Let's say you take the RC questions, but you do not feel very confident, or you uh, do not feel very confident in the SC or PC questions. So the free supplementary resource I would suggest there is Greg Maths videos. So uh, I will provide all these links that I'm recommending uh, in the description box below. But Greg Math has, uh, he offers uh, great techniques for text completions and for reading comprehension questions. So you could go through these as your guide in case you need supplementary material. Okay, so the reason I'm focusing so much on official questions is that there are enough official questions to take you a while in completing them. What students mostly do is they start with secondary material. Let's say you buy a magouche or you go to some book and start doing it and there are many questions in any material that you take. So you spend so much time there that in the end, you have either not touched the official material at all because you ran out of time or you could only do some of it. So the most realistic guide of what you will face on the GRE is the official material. So which is why I want you to start with the official material and go to any secondary material only on an as needed basis. Okay, so I will quickly show you how many official questions there are. So for verbal in OG chapter three, so OG chapter three, as I showed to you was the introduction to verbal reasoning measure. So this introduction to verbal reasoning measure offers sample questions. So these, uh, how many, so this sample question set. So how many sample questions there are? There are eight of them. And then OG chapter four is verbal reasoning practice questions. So there are uh, easy, medium and hard RC 
and SCTC questions. So set one is easy SCTC questions, set two is easy RC questions. These are the medium SCTC questions. SC means sentence equivalence and TC means text completions. Set four is medium reading comprehension RC questions. And then these are the hard questions for SCTC and RC respectively. So 34 practice questions in total. Then the official verbal reasoning guide, uh, the book that I showed to you here, the official guide for verbal reasoning. So this book has 150 practice questions in total. And here is a breakup of how the 150 number comes to be. 30 reading comprehension questions, 25 text completion, 20 sentence equivalents, and then 25 questions in each of the three mixed practice sets. So 150 questions in total, right? So these are 192 practice questions that you have available in the official guide and in the official VR guide, verbal reasoning guide combined. Now for testing, as I told you earlier, there are the two full length practice tests in the official guide. So there are, there are two sections for verbal reasoning there. Uh, each section has 25 questions. So two tests, each test having two sections, each section having 25 questions. So these are a hundred questions in total for testing given in the official guide. And then the Power prep tests. Now, power prep tests, because they're computer based, each section has 20 questions. So, when you take the full length test, you're going to get a medium per section. And based on how you did in this first section, you are going to get either an easy, medium, or hard second section. So, when you take the test on your computer, once you've downloaded the software, you are going to face 40 questions and you can revise them later, right? So once you have taken the test, these 40 questions become your further practice material. Now, so the first section, as I said, is going to be medium. Now, let's say you performed average on the first section. So you also got a medium second section. Now, what this means is that there was at the back end of the computer software, there was an easy second section. You did not get that. And there was a hard second section, which you did not get. There were 20 questions here and 20 questions there. So 40 questions in total that you did not get, right? Uh, because you performed average on the first section. But if you want to practice further, these 40 questions can be practiced on. Why waste them, right? So once you have taken the part prep test one, you can do further practice with these 40 questions. Now, how can you get to these 40 questions? I'll just show you. So this is the link. And once again, I will give this link to you. GRE Prep Club has provided a list of all the part prep questions. So here is part prep test one, the test I was just explaining to you on. So verbal reasoning section one is this, the 20 questions. Now, in our example, you had got a second medium section. So now you can go here on GRE Prep Club and see all the easy questions practice with them and all the hard questions and practice with them and likewise for quant reasoning. So this is why I have listed 40 and 40 here. Now mind you, there is a slight overlap between the easy, medium and hard questions. Not much. It's just about, I think, three or four questions for part prep test one and uh, similar for part prep test two. So the total number of questions, unique questions that you get for part prep tests one and two would be a little less than 80 in total. But still, uh, for easy approximation, I have taken the number to be 80. So as you can see, these are 260 free 
practice que uh, free testing question sorry that you have here. now ets also gives you the option to buy full length practice tests so these are the part prep plus tests there are three such tests in total each test costs 40 dollars but here you cannot do any further practice on the sections that you did not get because these paid tests can only be taken once once you pay 40 dollars to the eps for let's say test one part plus test one you have to take the test within 90 days or your purchase will lapse and there is no refund and you can take it only once and after that you can only review the questions that you've got in the 40 questions that you got in the test you can see the explanations for those but you cannot attempt again which means you cannot see the other questions that are there at the back end of the software okay so that's why here i have only listed 20 and 20 so 40 questions in total but still if you want and if you have the money these are 120 further verbal questions that you have access to but that's for later and only if you are willing and if you feel the need for these full length paid tests but look at how many free or inexpensive official questions you've already got once you have got the official guide and the official guide for verbal reasoning you have 192 practice questions and you have 260 testing questions so 452 questions in total for verbal now similarly for quant let me give you the walkthrough og chapter 5 is the introduction to quant reasoning section so again this has sample questions and how many sample questions in total 26 sample questions in total and then og chapter 6 gives you practice questions for quant here so these are the practice four sets practice questions for quant these are mixed practice sets and then as i said uh, earlier as well practice tests one and two both have two quant sections each section having 25 questions so 50 and 50 100 questions for testing right there in the official guide now, if you take the part prep test one and you will get a medium first section and based on your performance in this section, you will get an easy, medium or hard second section. But the 20 questions each of the two sections you did not get. So 40 questions in total that you that were there in the part prep test one software but which you were not exposed to so you can go to the gre prep club link that i gave to you before and practice those questions so 80 questions in total again there could be a slight overlap between the easy medium and hard second sections but that will not be much so the total number of questions will be slightly less than 80 but i have taken it as a nice whole round number 80 and likewise for part prep test 2 and once again uh, for the part prep plus tests 1 2 and 3 you could get an additional 120 practice questions per quant if you are willing to pay this money now what is left is to give you an overview of the breakdown of these 150 official qr guide questions so there are uh, uh, the official qr quant reasoning guide has the chapter on arithmetic which has 19 practice questions similarly 17 for algebra 13 for geometry 26 for data analysis and then there are three practice sets of 25 questions each and the total number therefore comes to be 150 so if you add the number of practice questions to 226 and the number of testing questions that are either free or there in the og the number is 486 once again a huge number so you have around 1000 questions available to you in verbal and quant combined in just the three books and the part prep free software right so 
uh, I am almost done. Just one last suggestion for how you could go about your quant prep. Now, as you can see in the official guide chapter six, yes, you have 50 questions, but these are all mixed together, which means from uh, you could get the first question, let's say, from lines and angles, and the second question from arithmetic mean, and the third question from persons. So when you are just starting to study, you are not prepared for the mixed practice sets because you are still learning your theory. So what I would suggest to you in that case is that you base your prep around the math review section start with arithmetic go through all these pages and supplement your learning with the khan academy videos as you need once you are done with the arithmetic all the topics in arithmetic so which is the integers the fractions exponents do all of these topics once you are done with them you will see the arithmetic exercises within the math review section do these exercises these are 15 questions the answers are given here if you perform poorly in these 15 questions means you are yet to learn your theory well so go back revise the theory see what mistakes you did and you need to hone your concepts you can get practice questions on khan academy maybe you need to do those to brush up your basics now, once you are done with these 15 questions and you're satisfied with your performance here, then go to the official quant review because here you have a dedicated set of questions for arithmetic alone. Do these questions, okay? And once again, so these are 19 questions, assess your performance there. And once you're happy with your performance there, rinse, repeat the same cycle for algebra, then for geometry, then for data analysis. Once you're done with all of these practice questions, now you are ready for the mixed practice sets. So now you can do, you can come to the official guide, do the questions in chapter five and in chapter six. Once you're done with these, now you are ready for the practice sets one, two, and three in the official QI guide. So this is how you can go about all the practice questions. And when you have exhausted all the practice questions, now is the time to come to the practice, full length practice tests in the OG and then in the part of this, okay? So I hope this video was helpful to you and should you need any further guidance, feel free to reach out to me. I'll give a link to my LinkedIn account in the description box below, along with all the other links that I have suggested in this video. So good luck for your prep and thanks for watching.